How many fires have occurred in China since the Chinese Communist Party came to power? The number is astronomical and mysterious at the same time. On March 11, 2022, fires were reported in two cities in China. This is a hospital in Shandong Province where a fire suddenly broke out. This is a fire in a factory in the eastern province of China. It broke out at 4 a.m. and lasted for more than six hours, destroying three factories and covering an area of about 1,800 square meters. Some people said it was a shoe factory, while some local Chinese media said it was a chemical fiber factory. In the same city, there was another fire three days ago. We can't find any information about it on the news websites in China. Zhejiang Province is a manufacturing hub of China with many factories, so perhaps a factory fire isn't an unusual phenomenon for residents of this region. The Chinese Commercial Fire and Safety Association presented some data on its work after 2015. According to its data, at the end of 2021, 748,000 fires were reported to fire rescue teams nationwide, an increase of 496,000 from 2020. The fires caused direct property damage of about 6.75 billion RMB, or about 1.06 billion U.S. dollars, an increase of 390 million U.S. dollars from 2020. The official report also stated that national fire rescue teams received a record high in tasks related to fires, making it the largest volume of cases since statistics were compiled. In 2021, China's fire rescue teams deployed over 20 million firefighters and over 3 million firefighting vehicles, with an average of more than 5,300 calls per day and a daily average of more than 50,000 firefighters and nearly 10,000 firefighting vehicles. China's official figures are usually retouched, but even the retouched figures are alarming, as they mean that there were more than 2,000 fires per day in China in 2021. A big truck is on fire. It caused an explosion, and the entire row of docks are burned. Look, we have the pipe bombs. Look, look, look! This is our water pipe. This is the 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 water pipe. A report by China's Commercial Fire and Safety Association has identified that problems with electrical and gas equipment are the leading causes of fires, accounting for 28.4 percent of fires in 2021. The safety awareness and self-rescue awareness of Chinese workers are rather poor. Most of them have never had the opportunity to receive training in this area. Chinese media reported that in 2019, a serious fire at a factory that produces everyday chemical products in Ninhai City, Zhejiang Province, killed 19 people and injured three. When a small fire appeared, the employees didn't think of using the two fire extinguishers beside them, but blew air through their mouths and took a metal bucket to cover the flames, causing the fire to spread. Panicked employees took cardboard to fan out and made the fire grow bigger. When they finally remembered to take a bucket and pour water on it, the fire was already out of control. The fire is now big. There are sounds of explosions. The area being cleared is now five kilometers away. Fire trucks will be arriving soon, and drones are coming. Since the pandemic in 2020, there has been a marked increase in factory fires in China, raising questions about whether they are human-induced.
There are rumors in the Chinese community that since the beginning of the pandemic, there has been an increase in the number of small and micro businesses shutting down and going bankrupt across China, with some business owners no longer able to afford loans, mortgages, rent, and wages for their employees. This may have led to some rather extreme behavior. It's possible that the owners set the fires themselves in order to obtain insurance claims. This technique is similar to the many grain silos that have been burned in China. In the past few years, when some grain silos were under audit, they would catch fire mysteriously. In addition, China's corrupt bureaucracy permeates all aspects of society, including fire prevention. Many buildings in China fail to meet safety standards but are allowed to operate as usual. It's also the cause of the high number of fires in China. This is a restaurant in Guangxi Province, southwest China, where local news reported that three people died in the fire. There was also a quality problem of Made in China. On November 8, 2021, the Ministry of Emergency Management said that there had been more than 10,000 e bike fires in China since 2021. Electric bikes are an area where the government intends to ban their use. Maybe that's why official figures are available. In reality, auto combustion, especially in Chinese-made electric vehicles, is a common occurrence in China. This is a fire that broke out at 2 a.m. on March 9, 2022, when a new energy vehicle spontaneously combusted under an overpass in a city in Hubei province, causing nine cars in a row to catch fire together. Also, on March 4th, a truck caught fire on a highway in Nunan province, southwest China, and all eight new cars were burned to scrap, resulting in heavy losses. What is another scary scenario? Perhaps it's the insecurity and anger that people have been feeling. This video shows a supermarket in southern China. It was burned down in mid-February 2022, leaving serious damage to the entire building. A man was arrested by police. The spectators at the scene remarked that the man had set fire to more than a dozen electric cars, causing the huge disaster. Kang 新盖的风台火让着大火了